And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. Are you sure it wasn't in the closet? Yes, I'm sure. <sighs> Bert, please tell me you know where the camera is. I don't know where the video camera is. Oh, good, because I was about to flip I launched it to Terry. You what? Well, what? Hers was in the shop, and she needed it for her trip. Where's the tape that was inside of it? Uh. Oh, shit! Don't tell me you forgot to take the tape out the camera, Bert. Uh. Will you please stop? Please tell me it was not the Tarzan tape. It was not the Tarzan tape. Oh, good. Hmm. Uh. Was the sailor tape? Oh, we gotta get that tape back, Bird. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You think she watched it? No, baby. Come, on. it's cool. I know Terry. If she would have watched it, she definitely would have said something. So, no, let's come on. Let's be no, no, no. For this one. You think I'm gonna let you celebrate one year of time out without me? Huh? Right. Nah. Right. Even if I had to hobble down here. Oh. Thought you got rid of those crutches nah, weeks ago, man. I did, I did. I re-injured the damn thing. <laughs> what? I don't know. Man. You know what that is? That's age. You know what? Do you get no one? <laughs> you get no. But I'm glad you came. Yeah. I mean, come on, this wouldn't be a party without CGR's golden boy. Uh, the gold's wearing off, Stuart. Man, don't let it get you down. All right, it's easier said than done. I know, I know. Why don't you come on the show? Think about it. I mean, tell your side of the story, man. Let people know what really happened. People don't care about what really happened. Maybe they don't. 
but I do. You know? And I'm here if you want to set the record straight. Think about it. Think about it. Give me a smile. I will. Give me a big smile. All right. <laughs> I'm really glad you came, man. You got it. Good to see you, man. Knock, knock. Hey, what brings you by? Your favorite peanut butter cookies. What? What's yeah. the occasion? Ah. <laughs> well, um, can a girl bring her sister some cookies? You're right, you're right. How was your vacation? Oh, it was great. Uh-huh, tell me more, come on. Well, it was Montego Bay, what's there to tell? Uh, we stayed at the Half Moon, which was amazing. Uh-huh. We ate and slept, made lots of love, uh -huh. ate and slept some more. That's so great. <laughs> Did you get any of it on video? No, I didn't. After you let me borrow the video camera, I forgot to pack it. Oh. Oh. Well, then, I gotta go, because I just came to bring the cookies. Baby sis. Huh? Why don't you admit why you're here? Well... Look, if you need to borrow money, you should just say so. I... You know. <laughs> well, I did, but I don't anymore, because, after all, I'm a grown woman, and I shouldn't have to come to you for everything. But it's nice to know I can. I'll see you later. Wait a second. Hey, yeah. yeah, Tommy, we're just... In say. Munich last summer. Come on, D. I'm telling the truth. Germany? Yeah. That, that girl didn't even look like she'd been to Jersey. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> Germany. Come on. Hey. I don't... Thanks for coming. Hey, well, I just wanted to let you know I had your back. Appreciate that, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's do it. It's my future brother-in-law, Kenny okay. Chadwick. Hey, man, I watch you every night. You're the Ted Koppel of sports. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Same here, man. Same right. here. Listen, I'm gonna get ready for the interview. See you in a second, Luke. Okay. All right, dog. Good to meet you. You too, man. Stu. Wow. No, I really. <laughs> Go ahead. I want to be clear. I was never trying to say that this was your fault. Yeah, well, I really appreciate you saying that. <laughs> it's too bad CGI isn't as confident as you are. Yeah. Well, yeah. And yeah, what is that snake doing here? Probably making sure I'm not going to say anything to make him look bad. There's a CGI lawyer next to him. Oh, boy. I'm looking for you, Mr. Carter. Oh, thanks. All right. All right, okay. Hey. That's <laughs> all you have to do is be you. Right? Yep. All right, thanks. All right. Thanks, bro. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Dane, hey. we just wanted to tell you we're behind your 110 fucking percent. And don't answer his questions too quickly. I may need to interrupt if he asks you something that could jeopardize our defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In five, four, three. Good evening and welcome to this edition of ESPN's Time Out. I'm Stuart Scott. My guest today, Damon Carter one of the fastest rising sports agents in the business. Damon, thanks for coming on with us. Thanks for having me. As everybody knows, for the last week, you have been at the center of a horrible and controversial sports tragedy. Why don't we start at the beginning? Uh, first of all, <clears throat> everyone at CGR sends their prayers to the Davis family. I really want to be respectful of everything they're going through. Um, Tobias is... If you don't choke up on that bat, you're never gonna hit one. All right, you control the bat. Don't let it control you. That's right. And hey, hey, hey. keep your eye on the ball, son. Oh, don't get cocky over there, Craig. Just because Chadway swung on that that girly pitch you threw, you're not releasing like we practice, right? Wow. I'll show him, Uncle Smitty. I'll huh? show him. You boy. Hey, where you going? Bobby, check it out. Pass the ball, man. 
past the ball. Look, it's all in your wind-up, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can spread their fingers around a ball, but if your wind-up ain't tight... Ow! Tobias, what are you doing? What? <laughs> I mean, you told me to show him. I didn't say anything like, get... Mm. Got it? That's what I'm talking about with this yeah. boy here, man. He thinks because he's an All-American, he can do what the hell he wants. Look at him. <laughs> Uh, who does he sound like? <laughs> man, it was different when we was playing. Yeah. yeah. Being a star, man, the popularity. Well. The girls, in my case. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but these kids here, man, all they think about is that $100 million contract, 24-carat mm -hmm. jewelry. Yeah. Well, maybe you're being a little bit too hard on the boy. I mean, he does have a freaky charm. Now that this baseball thing's blowing up, it's getting harder and harder. Now he's talking about not going to college. Well, with a teenager, Looking to make as much money as he's looking to make. Mm -hmm. Makes it damn near impossible for him to keep his head straight. Hey, you know, I meant to ask you about that guy. That guy that fine-ass Terry about to marry. Uh, oh, Damon. Damon, yeah. That's right. Isn't he some big-time sports agent, man? Maybe he can talk Tobias into staying in college. Why don't you and Tobias come on over for dinner tomorrow? You know, Damon will be there. Yeah. He can talk to Tobias. You know, real casual like, so he doesn't feel like somebody's preaching to him or something. That sounds like a plan there, Chapel. Right. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, yo, let's make this practice count. Come on now. Now, look look here. The money they pay you in those triple A leagues isn't crap compared to the experience you get playing D1 college ball. That's right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We represent Julio Ronaldo's, all right? And if his mother hadn't gotten sick, there's no way he would have left UCLA a year early. <laughs> Come on, Damon, man. I mean, three to five highest paid players in the majors oh. never set foot on a college oh, campus. There you go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And with mom, ain't no way I'm gonna end up playing triple A ball. You feel me? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but it's not about the whole. Come on, man. Anyways, what's up with Julio Ronaldez? What's he really like, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to know. Okay, he's a beast of the plate. Ain't that the truth? Uh huh. But I bet the beast couldn't get a hit off of me. Oh! <laughs> I'm serious, man. Like, hey, you stop him. Look, man, you really got to work in your confidence. What? What? You don't believe me? Set it up. Uh -uh. Set it up. Uh -uh. Let oh. me pitch one on him. No, 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 no. Just one. Set it up, David. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. This is how it starts, Kenny. You see? You know what I'm saying? This boy get out there, get a strike off a big leaguer, I won't be able to tell him a damn thing no more. <laughs> That's right. And besides, Damon here's an agent. Oh, yeah. You ain't supposed to be finalizing with agents. Might mess up his eligibility, right? Yeah. So what do you call this? <laughs> this here, a friendly dinner, which we about to leave. Get your stuff together. Maxine, mm -hmm. thank you again. We got to do this more often. Yes, That's we do. Right. Maybe next time we won't have to spend a whole night talking about sports. I <laughs> promise. I'm getting out of here, too, Max. OK. Thank you, baby. Thank you, brother. Thanks for coming, brother. All right. Here we get show. Little Max. Thank you, brother. I'll you All right. Thanks for the cake. I'll help you down these stairs, brother. All right, baby. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. All right, darling. When you get tired of Kenny, let me know. Yeah, I'll be there. All right, baby. Thank you. Bye, baby. 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 Bye, baby of everybody glorifying the plastic lives of young athletes. All that money thrown at them. By the time they really grow up, they're totally out of touch with reality. Hmm. Well, reality is relative, Maxine. You know, what's real to a multimillionaire is, is a lot different than what's real to you and me. Whatever, Kenny. Tobias isn't even out of high school yet, and he's already got grown men seeing him as a meal ticket. Well, I don't know what grown men you're talking about, but not everybody wants a piece of that kid. Oh, please. Why would Smitty have Tobias come talk to a sports agent about staying in school? That's like sending a drug dealer to tell a crack addict to just say no. No, I'm through with this conversation. Well, you should be. Take it. Hey, what's up, man? Y'all forget something? I got good news. Yeah, well, come on in. All right, Kenny. Later, man. So what's up? I warmed down. I convinced my uncle to let me have that pitching session with Julio, man. Oh, solid, solid. <laughs> I knew old Smitty would come around once his food settled. <laughs> That's good. Appreciate it. That's good. Oh, I almost forgot this. Yeah. It's all right. All right. All right, man. Thanks. Wow. Hey, yo, Dad, you <laughs> gotta let me check out that pitching session. That's not gonna happen tomorrow. Why? Because baseball is not your priority. 
but... Uh, uh, son, why don't you go on ahead, go upstairs, and get your homework done? But... All right? No, something like that. Got you. Okay. Come here. Oh, man. It's been a long day. Hey, you are tense. Come on up here for a second. Yeah. Just relax. I know what you're doing with Kenny, and it's not gonna work. Oh, baby. Hmm. 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 Kenneth Hurd. I just want to thank you. My name is Kenny. Right, right. Uh, I just want to say thank you for being such a team player during this whole uh, Tobias thing. Listen, you ever need tickets to anything? Just give me a call. You know, anything I did, I did for Damon, not for you, CGR, or anybody else. Whether you're from the projects or the hills, the lure of sports is the same. The sex, the, the money, the fame, anybody can get intoxicated by it. Including agents? A and the media. I mean, you jump all over the stories about athletes in trouble, on drugs, in court. What about the stories about the ones that stay in school? Guys like you and me, right? And guys like you and me. <laughs> I love that kid. We're here with Damon Carter with CGR Sports Management, one of the biggest sports agencies in the country. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back with more with Mr. Carter right after this. Considering all the things that you've said today, when you meet a kid as talented as Tobias, what, what's your thought process? My thought process is always the same. Which is? I want what's best for the athlete. <laughs> wow. All right, Tobias, give him some heat, baby. <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's your band at? Hey, Dad, did you see that? Yes, I did, son. Right. <laughs> that kid has a hundred million dollar fastball. Mm hmm Getting him this early was fucking genius, Dad. Hey, 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 pump your brakes, Ricky, all right? This is a favor to his uncle and nothing more. Ooh. I love it when you act human. Getting the kid tickets to a ball game is a favor, Damon. Hooking him up with his idol is called CGR, getting the inside track. <laughs> okay, maybe it is, but right now... Wow. I'm sticking to our agreement with the uncle, all right? All right, all right. <laughs> Luckily, I know you're just like me. You deliver the goods by any means necessary. So I'm sure this kid will be a client one day, right? Okay. 
ambulance at Hargrave Bank Stadium. Still pitching. Who is line driver? Hit him in the head. Julio, I, I thought I told you guys I didn't want him pitching to him. What? Kenny? Oh, no, Tobias said that you were cool with it. He said that you changed your mind. And you believed him, Kenny? He's a kid. You didn't call me to make sure? You were right out there by the car when he came back in the house to tell me. Shit, he forgot his jacket. so you can do what the hell you want to do. You know, I, I have no idea what that means. Oh, you don't have no idea, Kenny? I'll just drop it for now. Come on. All right. We'll I'll be right outside if, if you need us. You ain't shit, Kenny, and you know it. How many friends you got from back in the day, huh? How many? None. You know why? Because everybody knows Kenny Chadway is about Kenny Chadway, and it's his way or no way. I'm going to let you get away with that one, because I know you're real upset. Right let me have that one. Just get the fuck out, Kenny. Both of you. to you so we can spin it. Spin it? <laughs> this was an accident. Accident or not, I don't need the bad publicity hanging over Julio's head while we're trying to renegotiate his deal. Yeah, I got you. OK? I got you. D. The kid's uncle gave him permission to pitch to Julio. We did a favor. That's it. That's all we have to say about this little incident. So when this guy hires Johnny Cochran, you won't have a story you can verify. Tobias lied. <sighs> right? He never asked his uncle. Fuck. Yeah. Um. Hey, we, we didn't know that. Simple. All right, I'll talk to Kenny. OK, good. Hey, look, the last thing we need are people saying dirty little words like agent interference, jeopardizing our license. Hey, babe. Hey, hey. How is he? Well, the doctors are waiting on the CT scans. Say it'll be a little while before they know anything conclusive. Where's Smitty? In the room with Tobias. I'll go check on him. No, baby, baby, that, hmm. that won't be a good idea. Why not? Tobias lied. Smitty never said he can pitch to Ronaldo's. I need you to do me a favor. No, sir. Don't talk about this to anybody not until I can monitor the situation. Well, what's the situation, damn it? You know, people are going to start asking a lot of questions, and I just, we just want to make sure we got our story straight, you know? I don't have a damn story, damn it. I get it. When you say we, you're talking about you and CGR. Yeah, I guess I am, but I don't work for damn CGR. I feel like shit that that boy's in there fighting for his life, and I have to go to God to make sure that everything's all right. Damon, I didn't do anything wrong, and neither did you, so why are you so quick to spew the company line? Look, I work for the company, remember? That's a cop out. No, it's the truth. I, I realize that Tobias shouldn't have lied. Shit, Smitty is right. You should have called the boy before you set this thing up, Oh, no, man. no, no. What Smitty said was that you should have called him. 
He's your friend, so I assume you talked to him before he called me. Oh, so now you're gonna use Smitty's words to cover your ass. Look, for somebody who feels like he hasn't done anything wrong, you sure are a little bit defensive. Don't try to pull this bullshit on me with this whole sports shit! You should have called the boy's uncle, Kenny. You should have called him. That's what you should have done. The reason I became a sports agent is that I wanted to help athletes, especially young black athletes, uh, understand the responsibility of greatness, to understand why Jackie Robinson, Arthur Ashe, Wilma Rudolph, Muhammad Ali, why these people were great. Uh, I might be naive, but uh, I want every single one of my athletes to become the kind of human beings that those legends were. Eloquently worded. But I want to remind you, there is a young black athlete lying in a coma right now. I want to show you something. All right? Take a look at this. Let me tell you, man, before my sister died, she sent Tobias to me. She didn't want him to catch a stray bullet on the streets of Oakland. A bullet didn't put him in that hospital bed. Them snakes, them snakes over at CGR did. I'm going to say that. You have to feel somewhat complicit, Mr. Smith. Complicit? What do you mean? Tobias was supposed to graduate from high school next year. Oh, day. he still will. God I'm, willing, he I'm, still will. I'm sure he will. But in the meantime, you, you just, you just happened to introduce him one of the hottest sports agents in town. <laughs> and, 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 and now you're claiming, you're claiming this pitching session was done without your knowledge. It, it was, man, it was. But uh, you do know that high school athletes aren't allowed to associate with agents. Yes, I know You that. know that, right? Yes. And, and isn't it true that you and your nephew have talked with other agents? Even had dinner with other agents? What, what does one thing have to do with the other? I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm talking about how... How sees you all put my nephew in a hospital bed? You don't deserve that. It would seem to me that CGR was trying to get ahead in a race that you had already started. I love my nephew like a, I, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I love my nephew like a son. And all I try to do is what his, his mother, my sister, would have wanted us to do. Understand that? Yes. yes. <laughs> what do you feel from watching that interview? No comment. And we'll be right back. Are you sure you checked all of them? Every last one. and share this crazy thing that happened today. Uh, what happened? Somebody broke into my house and stole a bunch of videotapes. What, are you all right? Somebody broke in your house? I'm fine. And I don't think they were professionals because they didn't take anything valuable. No electronics, jewelry, oh. loose cash, nothing. Uh, they broke an expensive vase, though. And the tapes, they took the tapes. It's weird, right? Oh, <laughs> only video camera tapes? And they almost got all of them, too. Almost. I bet you can't guess which one they forgot. Just 
Give us a tape, Terry. We'll pay for the vase. Are you two keystone criminals aware that breaking and entering is a crime? Shame on you. You're parents. You should be setting an example for Jay. Burglary, pornography, perjury. That's not good. Look, just give us the damn tape, Terry. Hey, you watch your tone, sailor boy. Now, I figure, since you obviously have so much free time on your hands, maybe you should do some community service. How the hell are you gonna tell me what to do with my time? Can we please have the tape, big sis? Uh, I don't know. Let me think about it overnight. See where your skills can best be volunteered. Maybe we'll go to juvenile hall, Lem, so you can scare somebody straight. You know what? You cannot make us. <laughs> then don't do it. You know, I think I'll enter that tape in all the film festivals. There's Sundance, Cannes, Toronto. You know, I even had a college buddy once that was in the Navy, and he used to always sing this old Navy song. How'd it go? It was, uh, do, do, Columbia, the gem of the ocean. Three cheers for the red, white, and blue. The Army and Navy forever. Three cheers for the red, white, and blue. Three cheers for the red, white, and blue. Goodbye, Terry. Nasty. Hey, now. What's going on? It's me, he lost his damn mind. Hey, boy, watch your mouth. Tell me what's going on. You aren't crazy. You own stuff, throwing things. to see how you were doing. Well, how does it look like I'm doing? Not too good, brother. Yeah. Dude, you should have called, man. You should have fucking called. I know. Because if he was a true friend, and you cared about me and mine, this would have never happened. <laughs> but you always was a jealous man. Oh, jealous of what, Smitty? Of me. You never came to a party, never came to a game. You always had some excuse. Hey, well, what the hell are you talking about? Four years of college ball, two years of pro, you never came once. But you brought your ass around when you saw me in this chair. I came around because I wanted to help. You came around because you wanted my money to help start a toll business. I wanted to help you get your mind off things, brother. Man, that's why I wanted you to invest. Mm -hmm. You, me, together? And we could have had the best tow truck company in the state. If I have to remind you, I was an NFL running back. Suddenly, I couldn't use my legs. <laughs> couldn't wipe my own ass. My mind went on no damn tow truck business. Yeah, I, I guess it wasn't. You gonna help me up or what, man? Young. You know, it's a strange thing with brothers. You know, we always got to have competition between us. When I didn't make it in football and you did, man, it took me a little while to get over that. And once I found out that you were hurt, man, you know, I really wanted to be there to help. To be a friend. You know, I didn't care about shit once I lost my legs. Shit. 
Then Tobias came along, man, and I started to care about something. <laughs> I wanted the boy to have everything. Look at him now, man. He's worse off than I am. I'm sorry. feel like shit. I, I, I never thought of the possibility of Tobias lying. And I'll put that on everything I love, brother. say they wish they could trade places with somebody they can't but I wish I could change this I feel like I should have done something differently but I don't know what maybe except stop living my life then CGR way. Stop doing things I don't believe are right just because they're right for my career. Uh, how is it? Head injuries are tricky. He's still got a lot of brain swelling. But on the positive side, his vitals are improving every day. He's a fighter. So, um, is he going to be all right when he wakes up? Well, brain activity looks good, and there's uh, no sign of paralysis, at least not permanent. Huh? With uh, a lot of therapy, he might be able to live a normal life. Normal for you and me? Or normal for somebody who is supposed to play big league baseball? I said, uh, live a normal life. I didn't say anything about playing baseball. to do a follow-up. Uh, there's a couple of things that I really want to say. Dad, talk to her. She wants me to quit the baseball team. This isn't up for discussion. I'm not having my son laying up in some hospital bed just so that you can say he's the next great thing. Maxine, I know you're upset about Tobias. Now, what happened to him was awful. It's a little bit more than awful. Look, I know, Maxine. I just came back from the hospital, and I can barely look at the boy without breaking down. Then you should know how I feel. What kind of message would I be sending Ahmad by making him quit? Well, this isn't teaching him life lessons either. He is playing. You know, I'm so tired of men and women trying to live their lives through their kids. We had our chance, Kenny. We can't live it again. Thank you for that reminder. He is still playing. I spent five years locked up for making a stupid mistake. I wasn't lucky enough to get sent to a place like this. 
but I learned something. Life don't owe you nothing but an ass kicking. You. What are you in here for? Man, what are you in here for? I'm in here because I care. Because I did something stupid and got caught. Yeah. You look like a stupid ass criminal to me. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think I robbed someone who looks just like you. <laughs> right, 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 right. Like robbing people. Stand up. I said stand up. Wanna rob somebody, huh? Well, I wanna see how you like getting robbed. Doesn't feel good, does it? What's this? It's a cookie, man. I thought the rules say no food outside the mess hall. Well. What? Yeah, man, yeah. Then maybe you need to learn how to follow the rules. This is my cookie now. You got a cookie in your pocket, too? Hmm? What about you? Oh, no. Man, you crazy putting your hands on that kid. Oh, come on, man. You wanted me to be real. I was real. What about you? You got a cookie in your pocket? Hey, Coach. How you doing? All right. What are you doing? Here? I came by to see if you need help with the equipment. I send the equipment down with Coach Johnson. He's going to be the head coach from now on. Uh, but you're still coming to the game, right? I doubt it. Uh, I tried to see Tobias. Uh, they wouldn't let me see him without an adult. He opened up his eyes today. Oh, really? Yeah. He'll be back. Yeah, I told my dad the same thing. Well, I better get to the park. Practice choking up on the bat. Yeah, you do, you do that. <laughs> one of our clients accidentally shoots someone, we clean it up, even deliver hush money to the so-called victim if necessary. We cover for clients who cheat on their wives. If something needs to go away, it goes away. Basically, we'll do just about anything. It's all about the commission. And if you're representing somebody who makes $50 million, that's nothing to sneeze at. Fifty million dollars. <laughs> Sweet, Damon. I hope your moral epiphany was worth your fucking career. How do you think you're going to keep clients after this airs? I'm not, am I? Our lawyers are already into this. Okay, we're letting ESPN know that if this piece of garbage interview ever gets on the air, they'll be slapped with everything from defamation to libel. Well, my money's on ESPN. I think the interview's going to air in... Three weeks, like it's supposed to. And you're through. And you're not taking one damn client with you. Well, you're right. I already contacted each of them to let them know exactly that. Because I am through. Why do you think I did this interview in the first place? OK, then you're not going to see a dime of severance pay and don't even think about your commission. Coming. 
All right, Terry, give us our tape. Hi, baby sis, brother-in-law. Fine, we'll find it ourselves. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Oh, look, it's Popeye and olive oil. The Army and the Navy together. Three cheers for the red, white, and blue. The Army and the Navy forever. Three cheers. <laughs> the Army and the Navy forever. Three cheers Give it here. for the red, white, and blue. The Army and the Navy forever. Three cheers for the red, white, and blue. I can't believe you changed clothes to go to the mall. This is not the mall, T. I guess it isn't. I told you I was not interested in coming to this game. Maxine, you have got to stop letting your fears interfere with Ahmad being a boy. You didn't let him play football. You agreed with me. I did, and I was wrong. I can admit that. But if you keep stopping Ahmad from doing things because you're scared he might get hurt, you might as well stop him from crossing the street. I'm not going. Fine, Maxine. But the bottom line is, as much as you may want to, you can't protect Ahmad from life, so you might as well just let him live it. Chadwick, you're up. Hey, son, I'm here for you, all right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't forget that helmet. All right. Hey, boys, come on. All right. All right, son, keep your eye on the ball. Wait for your pitch. All right, Chadwick, choke up on that bat. Don't look at me. Look at the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, but once you go again, cocky, Chadley. <laughs>